Hey up everybody, I want it next part of me uh, steam loco build, my sweet pea. I think like I said in, in one of my previous videos, I'm not in no great rush to do this. Not like when I did my meter made, I were going full steam ahead to do that, if, if that's the right terminology. I think I did that in about 18 months to two years. So this is just a bit of a long term project really. So in the last video I think I did the connecting rods and I probably I probably left off where I'd got the connecting rods coupled up to wherever they're going to go to. But as you can see I've took the connecting rods off, I've also took the cylinders off, I took the opportunity while the weather were nice and fine and sunny to get those painted. So in this part then I'm going to move on to the actual cross heads that connect the connecting rods to the actual piston on the cylinders. For anybody that's not quite sure what I mean by the cross head, uh, I know all you professionals out there are going to know all this, but for anybody you know that's beginning, we all have to start somewhere don't we? I'll just put a clip in of me uh, meter made loco running and show you the cross heads in action. Here's the drawing then for the cross head. Uh, it's a bit scabby in places because it's had a bit of use on my meter made when I was building that. Uh, it's just a photocopy out of the book I've got. I've not actually got any full size drawings. I just take copies out of my book on the particular part I'm working on and bring it into my workshop. And all it is is two, two pieces of metal, a block and a plate. So on the block then you cut a, a, a slot in right the way through and then on one corner you've cut a, cut a radius out. And once you've done all that machining and you know, put the holes in etc, there's a plate fits on the top to encapsulate the slide bar. The other two items that's required is the slipper it's for the bearing surface which fits on the top of the slide bar and two gudging pins which will machine up then harden. So once the cross head's built up then it's going to run on the slide bar here. And once the um, cylinders on with the piston in, the piston rod's going to screw into this part of the cross head. So that's going to connect it there. And then when the piston's coming in and out, it's going to push the cross head up and down the slide bar. And then on this part here fits the connecting rod that I did in my last video. And then the connecting rod fastens to the other side of the cross head here which in turn connects to the rear wheel so as the pistons coming up and down moving the cross head in and out moves the connecting rod up and down connected to the wheel then the this rear wheel is coupled to the front wheel and turns the old job lot that's all it is really I'm going to get some material cut out and then we'll reconvene well, I've done a bit of cardiovascular work and I've got these blocks cut out now and I've just I've just trimmed them up on milling machine to bring them to size. Um, I've got my markings on where my slot's going to go, and then the portion on the corner. I don't know if you can see it. That's going to be the centre hole. That's got to be cut out. Various holes drilled and tapped in for the plate to fit on. And then I've got these two plates cut, ready for drilling. And they're going to be the plates that go on onto the top of this. I'll move over to Miller machine then and get these uh, slots and these holes machined in. Just before I do that then, uh, this book that I'm working to, it's all in imperial sizes, right? If you can't get material of, of that size, just use the nearest equivalent in metric. But just bear in mind you've got to make all your other sizes adjust to fit that 
So for instance, my slide bar, it wants to be 3 8 of an inch. Well, I didn't have any 3 8 of an inch bar, but I had some 10 mil, which is, what is it, about 14 thou bigger, is it? 10 mil just off top of my head. So all I'm going to do, instead of putting a, a slot in to suit me 3 8 bar, I'll be putting a slot in to suit me 10 millimetre bar and that's how I do my that's how I do my builds if I've not got the material where it says in the book I'll just tweak it here and there you know don't 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 go mad obviously but I'll just tweak it here and there to make it fit and it works perfectly well as long as you remember you know when you're making your other parts that they've got to be adjusted to suit. Okay, that's my slots done. I'm not going to put my holes in until I've done my covers and I'm going to use my covers as a jig to drill all the holes. Uh, just remember that these are handed so you cut one of these slots on one side and one on the other for the connecting rod. Well that's all the items made now and ready for assembly uh, and fitting onto the loco. A couple of things though, uh, this brass or bronze slipper, I've not shown me doing that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you me make that in a separate video. It says in the book here, it's a tricky little item to make and it gives you a couple of methods. But I don't use any of them methods, I, I use my own method. So I'll show you that in a separate video. And then the other thing is, the oil hole that comes down this web in here, into the bottom, into this cutout. Uh, I've not shown that, but it's straightforward to do. And in that hole, you put this little brass cup, just to fill up with oil. The thing is with this though, you put a bit of felt in the bottom, you put your oil in that, it comes down the webbing and comes out that hole at the bottom. But to me, it only oils that bottom face. It don't oil the sides or the top slipper. So what you, what you normally do, you put a bit of oil on the slide bar before you're running, running the loco. And then every so often, just put a little squirt of oil on. Uh, so, but I've done it anyway, but you know, to me, the jury's out whether that's beneficial or not. That's just my personal opinion, that.
And then there's these two pins which I've not shown, it's just a simple turning job with a 2BA thread on for a 2BA nut. 5 sixteenths diameter. Uh, it says to be hardened here but I've just used high tensile material. So I'll get these fitted at loco. If you found that useful and interesting, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.